so we just we chose to put it right down the middle. You just can't replicate what a, a talented human being can do. So this is a this is a smaller mold, but this is exactly like that, just smaller. This is this is a a part that we created that goes in it and it actually comes down here with a lower part in it. We're actually burning features into the material, whether it be aluminum or steel. So in order to do that, we had to create a, a series of electrodes from. Uh, these are actually about two or three thousandths apart. You'd never know that, but we create these over in a CNC machine with graphite typically, but it can be used with any conductive material. And we'll create that shape over there on the machine, and then we actually mold this in here, and it actually drops down just a, a few millimeters at a time once it's under the cooling fluid into a steel block. It'll actually, over time, burn this shape into the steel. Basically, on a molecular level, the spark is etching away at the steel itself, and it's just dissolving into the, the fluid. So you're just getting a fine grain of steel that ultimately is left in the fluid to clean it out later on. What do you so call this again? It's EDM machining. So we're making, we go over to the, the CNC machines, and we're making a positive to create a negative, is what we're doing. And if you think about machining, when you come into a corner, you always make a radius. With this, because we can machine an outside corner flat, we can burn a 90 degree corner then by making positive and then creating the negative. So we're not able to machine in a sharp corner or sharp features, but over here we can burn sharp features into the material. And it's very precise stuff, you know, we'll check them all with our height gauges all so the time. So it ends we'll up in the same spot every time. This is the nozzle comes in from the machine and butts up against it and shoots the plastic in there. This side is clamped to the A side of the machine and this side is clamped to the B. That's your parting line right there. So the shape is contained within these two plates right here. So the plastic solidifies and we get the shape we want. And so we're circulating cold water through there. It's being pumped through in tremendous volume actually from a big chiller system we have to extract the heat out. Here, if we just build one toothbrushes, it'd be boring. <laughs> we have all the machines making the toothbrushes and Put the tree, which this is what we call the sprue. That's what you saw on the back of the mold where, where it comes in, um, where the nozzle would come in. This is actually in the mold itself, the sprue. It drops down to what we call a runner, and a runner ultimately is balanced out. You can see the geometry of it similar so that all the parts fill out at the same time. And this is the gate, and that's what allows the plastic to flow into your hand. We couldn't use ejector pins here, so that's why you see these deep pieces here because this is actually in the mold and this is where we're pushing it. You can see your mold is bolted, clamped to the A and B side of the machine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the A side of the machine. You can see the high polish on there so that we get the similar yeah. effect on it. The operator has to do is inspect the parts under the light to make sure there's not any real major flaws in it. Looks at it and if there's a big flaw like this one, it's got a big mark in it, they probably would not use that tile. That's just a little bit too much. It's outside the zone of the cosmetic standard we're going to use for this. So the operator will trim off the part right off of the tree right here, right off of the gate with some gate cutters. Just a manual process. They'll be trimmed off. They'll do it way better than me. Be a lot for the operator because you have eight parts. That's a lot for new. They got to snip this all off, put it in a box in 30 seconds because that's about how long it takes to cycle the machine. Over to Tesla cars, they're pretty famous. Every Tesla car that's sold, they actually get one of these as part of the sale, and they send out a technician to install this in the garage. This is the light pipe we make to transmit the light from the circuit board up, so it has you see them everywhere with the green light on, or the yellow, or the red light. We, that's actually plastic that we mold, and it actually lays down on the circuit board here and transmits the light from the circuit board right up through the plastic. Oh. Thus, we call it a light pipe. So is that so. piece EDM'd in the backside there? Uh, on the mold. Most of this was pretty much machine. There's a little EDMing here, but not much. You can still see the machine marks here. There's a big portion of this mold was machine. And we're here to protect the patient and machinery from contamination. So we sell this by the hundreds of thousands. And when the machine's fully operational, we mold the male and female part out there. They come in here, and there's a filter inside. And it pulls inside here. There's an ultrasonic bonder which uses sound waves to emit energy through right at the edge of this and it actually welds it to the bottom circle part. that we have on there. And this is the plate that we create. And the image is burned into it about three microns deep with a, uh, a chemical etching film. And once it's burned into there, that cup is full of ink. And the pad goes, it, it opens up and then the pad goes down, picks up the image, and 
then I'm running it manual here. You can't go back and then it would go down yes, and print it on there. So the image is right here right now. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. Angel Capital out of the Southwest, this you put this on the ground and you lay on it, kind of adjust your spine a little bit and it stretches out your back. And Putting this print on it is what we're doing here. This is the final step. We mold this out there. It's a pretty large plastic part. We put the print on it. We have little indentations we built in the mold, and we'll put little rubber feet on there so when this is on the floor, it doesn't slide around. And then they put a uh, DVD, they take the DVD to the back of it and a, and a warning label on the back of it, and they package it here, and we ship it off to the uh, home medics. You've probably heard of them, they're pretty big. They're, they're gonna, this is pretty brand new, and it's just coming on the market and um, just landing the first few distributors right now.